right. My claim is that media has negative influence slash impact on society. More so meaning all they care about, whether it's a newspaper article, what's on TV, it's a profit, it's for whatever it is to get ratings or viewings, or to put a blame on something. For example, teen pregnancy. They always, they lately have been saying, oh, it's all about teen mom, 16 and pregnant being on the air. But according to the Center for Disease Control, one third of young women in the U.S. become pregnant before 20. Eight out of 10 are unwanted pregnancies. And it actually, studies actually showed that there's less promotion in schools and on TV about safe sex and abstinence versus there's more shows, reality shows, and TV shows, and promotion of underage sex on shows like Jersey Shore or Teen Mom, where it's okay to do it, where you should feel pressured into doing it, and that's why a lot of young women give into it. It's not so much, it's, it's more so the media's fault that people actually blame it to be than just on one show. Secondly, I'd like to quote Larry Lay, director and coordinator of the Research for Center for Successful Parenting saying, let's quit using various sex boxes as babysitters instead of doing healthful activities. And this made me think back to video games. And there's a rage against video games are violent, video games are bad. And you know, back to the 90s when it was cool to play Frogger or Pong, now you have to play Gears of War and Halo and have blood and guts all over the place, which causes kids to think that, oh, well, if they can do it on a video game, on a computer game, why can't I do it? And it's just that negative impact influence on kids to do wrong. Thirdly, a statistic proven that in the last six years between the Iraq and Afghanistan wars, there have been 1,100 deaths. And we've maybe heard maybe 100 of them mentioned on TV. And even when they're mentioned, they're on the bottom black screen of CNN or MSNBC saying six killed in IED crash. And that's it. Nobody goes on to question. It's more so about who's on Dancing with the Stars or what did the situation have to say about hitting his head against the wall. You know, it's, it's pointless information that's getting thrown out there. Nobody realizes that it's not all about the hurt locker and dodging bullets and respawning like a Call of Duty game. There's more to it than just what's portrayed as, I'm a big bad soldier and I can't be hurt. So in conclusion, just don't ever be afraid to find out what's really going on in the world. Or take the two seconds to watch CNN or read a news article instead of checkmtvnews.com. Thank you.